Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. New name, same game. We will continue with reading our manga to learn some German. So, let's go. So last time he was threatening him with his gun and also some firework. If you're not familiar with the vocabulary, you can watch the prior episode. So we go to the last square and read. Ich habe auch einen italienischen Feuerwerkskörper. We check out the verbs, which is only haben in this case. Haben to have. Italienisch. Italian, in this case it's an adjective in front of a noun, and then we have the verb and der Feuerwerkskörper, the firecracker. So all together, I also have an Italian firecracker. I'm pretty sure this is just a code word for the weapon, I guess, but we will see. Next one. Ich glaube, ich habe keine Lust mehr, Gefälschte zu verwenden. Glauben, to believe. Again, haben, to have. Verwenden means to use. Die Lust, to not be in the mood for something. Mehr in this case means anymore. It could also mean more in another context. And gefälscht means fake or faked. So he says, I believe I'm not in the mood anymore to use fake ones. Gefälschte. He doesn't say the noun, but if he would have said a noun, it would be after the adjective here. Next one. Du willst nicht auf dieser elektronischen Anzeigetafel auftauchen. Oder wollen to want. Auftauchen is a little interesting and not so often used. It means to pop up, I think you could say in English. So he popped up on the screen or his name popped up, something like that. Or after not calling for five days, he just popped up at her door or something like this. The other words are familiar from the first and second lesson. The Anzeigetafel means like the billboard or the screen. Elektronisch means like electric. You do not want to pop up on this electric board, right? Oder Oder is for a rhetorical question and has other meanings or other function as well. But in this case, it is like, aren't you or isn't it? Stuff like that. And we go to the next page. And I can just assume his way of talking or threatening helped, I guess. So let's see. Yeah, okay, no translation needed. Next one. Warte in dem Park auf mich, Mario. Warten, to wait. Der Park is the park. Now I can only recommend you, I don't want to put too much grammar into it, but I just have to say it. Remember that if you want to say in English to wait for somebody or something, it is auf. Auf jemanden warten. It's accusative. Mich is me. In this case, it's the object of the sentence and accusative. If you struggle with this grammar, check out my other channel. I explain A1 and A2 grammar step by step. So wait in the park for me, Mario. Next one. Lass uns gehen kennen. Tommy's Zuhause ist als nächstes dran, oder? Lassen, to let. Gehen, to go. Sein ist, to be. So the first one is let us go. Ken. We have again an accusative object, in this case uns. By the way, just so you know, maybe you already do, warte and las are both grammar aspects which are called imperativ, giving an order. Let us go, wait, do this. So the grammar is a little different of the verb. The conjunction is different. So let us go, Ken. Tommy's home is als nächstes. Nächstes means next, and dran means to be someone's turn. Just remember it with dran, sein, to be somebody's turn. Du bist dran, it's your turn. So Tommy's home is up next or is the next. Oder 
again. Oder isn't it? Nachdem wir uns etwas zu essen am Times Square geholt haben. Ich trage den Koffer, wenn er schwer ist. Geholt haben, perfect tense, past tense, so to speak. From holen, to get something. Tragen, to hold, to carry. And sein. Das Essen, the food. Der Koffer, the suitcase. Schwer, heavy. Other words of interest are maybe nachdem, which means after. Etwas means something. Etwas zu essen. Essen is actually a verb also. It's both. It's a little complicated. If it is with zu in the beginning here, it is grammatically speaking also a verb. Something to eat. Same as in English. But das Essen is also an existing word. Das Essen. And it means the food. And it can also mean the eating. So altogether it's a little tricky. But the good thing is, speaking from experience, um, the German learners handle this pretty well. It's not so complicated. Etwas zu essen. Something to eat. Being a verb. If it would be etwas zum essen. Then it would be a noun. Sorry for that. But the meaning is clear. After we get something to eat from the Times Square, we will go, I guess. He wants to say he doesn't finish it like this. I carry the suitcase if it's heavy. When, when can mean if, but also when. If it's heavy. And the last one. Na, ich liebe das Gewicht von Geld. Na los, lass uns schnell zum Square. Lieben, to love, lass, again, let, das Gewicht, the weight, das Geld, the money. So, na is just another expression for no, just a little bit more macho, I guess, or more casual. So he's like, no, I love the weight of money, von Geld. Na los, na los is a saying, it means let's go. Let us quickly, schnell, to the square. Lass uns schnell zum Square. And this is not a full sentence, to be honest, because the verb is missing. Let us go to Square. Lass uns schnell zum Square gehen. This would be a full sentence. Lass uns am Square treffen. This one is correcter. It has the verb at the end. Let us meet at the Square. Treffen, to meet. And we have a little thing here. Die Legende des Auftragsmörders Mario. Die Legende, the legend, of the assassin Mario. 